Damn right. And I'm holding up traffic. Right in the middle of the damn street because I got to introduce myself to the good people of YouTube land. I right, got damn it. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Welcome back. Look how you try to get around. Welcome back to the Mafia 2. You next time you hold up until I get done. Let me get it from behind before you run my ass over. All right, guys. I had to go get some uh, get some fresh clothes, as you guys see. You know, got some got some new trousers. Got that shirt on deck. I don't like how far he got it pulled up. You know, on his waist, man. I mean, he, he got that bitch. You know, pulled past his belly button. You know, I ain't a fan of sagging, but damn, bro, you you all right? I mean, you gonna be wearing that bitch as a uh... all right? Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I was about to say, but let's uh let's get up here and see what they got got going on. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. Oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. You now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. Like these motherfuckers going for finals or something at school <laughs> to, to try to become a made man in the mafia. You all stressed out? He got crooks in his neck and shit? All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn that in hell. That paper hot as hell, bro. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. Damn it, like you're selling your soul, I'm very man. I'm pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests. Especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending you're almost seven years in a can. You see, where so I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. 
That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. All right, guys. Chapter 10. Room service. We definitely got a better place now since we uh, became made man getting that money. Hold on, what picture this is in a while? Oh, I know who that is. That's James Brown, man. Or, or Jimmy Hinton. No, I don't know who the hell that is. That's probably just some old random ass person. Alright. Damn, but it's like it's like I've never been here before. I can't. I, I don't even know where my phone is at. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Call him y'all early in the morning yeah. and shit. Oh, okay. I ain't All even right. had breakfast. I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. They don't took off my good, my good clothes. All right, got to meet Eddie over at Joe's right away. I wonder, did, uh, did Joe get uh, a new place to stay in, too? Where's where's my wa my wardrobe? Uh, there you go. There we go. Should I get real real spiffy on them? Hmm. Hey, you know what? I may put. Nah, I ain't gonna put that one on. Yeah. I don't know, guys. You know, ain't nothing like the uh, nothing like old faithful, man. I like I like the little leather suit. It just makes me look like a badass. You know, got the black shirt on, leather coat, probably pleather. I bet it's hot as hell in this house right now. You got a fire going. Hold on. Let's look at his uh at his feng shui. Why in the hell do you have the iron out and you got this chair blocking the TV? That's bad karma, sir. Who got in his ice box? Open this bad boy up. The alligator, please, please don't don't insult my intelligence. It's not an alligator. This is a refrigerator, man. Oh, we got a soda. We got no you know beer. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now now we can get the day going. That's breakfast, guys. That is so nasty looking in that pot. That's a uh, that's high resolution uh, slop. <laughs> All right, guys. I, you, you guys know I like the bullshit when we uh, get in the uh, rooms and stuff. But uh, man, look look at this uh, look at this house of mine, guys. Man, this is the American dream. The only thing he's missing is the white picket fence. The dude got everything. Alright. Here we go. Let me drop in this bad boy. Get around here to Joe's, guys. I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. More than like I'm going to hit you guys with transition. And we'll be right back once I get there. Also, guys, while I'm driving over here to Joe's, just want to let you guys know I'm doing a game on my channel called PT. is a scary game. PT stands for Playable Teaser. It's hold on. See, I can't, I can't talk. Oh, I'm about to hit the cop car. Can't talk and drive at the same time, baby. But it's the, uh, it's the teaser for the uh, new game that's coming out, the uh, Silent Hill game. And uh, from, from what I've seen from the, from the teaser, I played a little bit of it. Uh, it should be on the channel a little bit before this is, uh, this is up. So you guys definitely check it out, but it's a it's a scary game, you know. Uh, uh, my 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 reactions to it, you know, I I must say are are a one of a kind, you know. What I mean, uh, I haven't had a game that made me, you know, freak out like that since uh, Outlast. So that just tells me that it's a pretty good game. So yeah, definitely check it out, guys, if you haven't already. It's uh, Silent Hills uh, PT. Just uh, search it on the channel, and uh, you'll see it. It should be like probably like a video or two before this one is up. Alright guys, we're over here. Over here to Joe's. Let's see what the dealio is. Man, I went on with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> little man. Don't get no respect. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. 
So what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. Oh, got dynamite. There ain't no plan. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay. What's the matter with you? Okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? i known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. All these ideas are bad ideas. All right, we got to take uh, Joe's car and drive Joe more. Okay, cool. All right, that was a lot of talking, guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? I apologize for all the talking in this uh, episode right here. But, hey, that's just the way it be sometimes. A lot of cut scenes, a lot of talking. At least we got it out the way. Hey, that's the same damn picture I got in my my place. Are you shopping? You, 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 you going to the same spots as me now, Joe? Huh? All right. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go and get this mission underway.